God is God, and he is the only free will in the universe. That is the truth that is ignored and lied about in all of religion, especially in Christianity. Man does not possess a free will. God is in charge of the circumstances and the nature of the human being, and this directs our decisions and everything that we are. God's will cannot be thwarted by anything that a created being can do. And if we don't know this truth, then we cannot know God. This is the most basic truth. It's God 101, and hardly anybody gets it. The truth is that God is God, and he is not a man. This means that God controls every single detail of existence. He has planned every moment of every life before we were even born. The way I like to look at it is that to God, the future is as set in stone as the past. When we look at our life, as we go through life in real time, we look back 10 days ago, 10 years ago, we cannot change one detail about the past. Well, that's the same of the future. Yes, we go through, we make decisions, and we live, but God has a plan laid out for each one of our lives that is as set in stone as the past. We cannot alter the future. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but God has planned that out already. We have this bubble of ignorance where we pass through life, and we don't know what's going to happen. But God has everything laid out, and it's planned and goes perfectly according to his will and there's nothing we can do to change that god is sovereign we are not god is god and we are not so everything happens exactly the way god plans and nothing has ever happened that god did not plan i'm going to talk about exhibit a today which is the garden of eden god created adam and eve you know how the story goes. The first humans were tricked into eating from the forbidden tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Did Adam and Eve destroy God's plan and blindside him? Did God have to switch to plan B immediately after his first attempt with humanity? The answer is no. Adam and Eve did not and could not go against God's plan. It was God's intention that the first human beings disobey him and eat of that tree. Why else would God make the tree so attractive and place the servant in the garden? God has planned for all humans, starting with Adam and Eve, to disobey him. The reason for this is the exact reason God put good and evil in the same tree. Why not make two trees? One tree is the good tree, one tree is the evil tree. Don't eat of the evil tree, but you can eat of the good tree. But no, he didn't do that. He put good and evil in the same tree. Why would he do this? Because you cannot know good without knowing evil. You must first disobey God in order to appreciate the reconciliation and the ultimate love of God. God planned for the sin of Adam and Eve before he even created the world. Revelation 13.8 says, says that Jesus was slain from the creation of the world. This means that before human beings were even created, before sin was even introduced, God had provided the answer for sin. So God knew that sin was coming. God had planned that sin was coming because he had Jesus killed from the beginning. That was part of his plan. So he knew it was coming. It was his design. So this means that God planned to save humanity from sin before the first human beings were ever born. Through Adam, all humanity experiences death. This was God's plan so that all humanity will understand the full joy of being resurrected and having deathlessness. It is all part of the plan to give every human the greatest joy and appreciation imaginable. 
Now, Adam and Eve did exactly what God intended them to do. I know that they went against his stated instructions, but many times in Scripture, God hardens people's hearts or he sends evil spirits for them to go against him because that's what he uses to glorify himself and that's what he uses to teach people. But no one has ever and can ever go against his intention or his plan, what he wants and wills to happen. But Adam and Eve, like every human being, must experience death before they realize and fully enjoy the resurrection attained by the faith of Jesus Christ. Many people believe in the sovereignty of God, but do you? Scripture says that God wills all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. If you believe that God sends people to an eternal hell or that people are separated from God forever in some sort of annihilationism, then you do not believe that God is sovereign. God wills all men to be saved. Therefore, if all men are not saved, then his will has been thwarted. Not possible if he is sovereign. Rest assured, God wills all men to be saved and he works all according to his own will. That's Ephesians 1.11. All is of God and all will be saved. Human free will is a myth. Eternal separation from God is a myth. God is God and he is not a man and he controls all.